Just days before the trade deadline, the Cardinals finally making a move today, but no, it's not the one that you were hoping for. Instead, the Redbirds swapping with the Phillies today, trading away Edmundo Sosa in exchange for pitcher Jojo Romero. With Paul DeYoung being recalled from the minors yesterday, the writing was on the wall that there was one too many infielders on the Cardinals roster, specifically shortstops. So the Cardinals saying goodbye to Edmundo Sosa. This season, Sosa was batting below 200 for the Redbirds with eight RBIs over 53 games. So who is the new Cardinal, Jojo Romero? Well, there's not much about him. He's made two appearances for the Phillies this season and has a whopping 7.89 ERA over 21 plus innings. Yikes. He will head to AAA Memphis, though, so he's not coming to the bigs just yet. Going back to Paul DeYoung, he was recalled from AAA Memphis yesterday and was added to the taxi squad. But today, he is in the lineup for the Cardinals. DeYoung is batting seventh and playing shortstop tonight. While in the minors since mid-May, DeYoung has clubbed 17 homers for Memphis, batting 249. As for Juan Soto, as of this moment, he is still with the National. There's so many trade rumors swirling around about Soto and trades, but as of right now, Major League Baseball insider Ken Rose has the Padres and the Cardinals as the front runners for Soto. Follow our KMOV News app for any updates on the latest on the Cardinals heading into the trade deadline on Tuesday. The Cardinals back in action right now against the Nationals. Dakota Hudson with the start on the mound. His first start since July 14th. He'll look to follow up on a big performance from Miles Michaelis last night. Hopefully Hudson can pick up where Miles Michaelis left off. Michaelis logging a quality start last night in seven innings. He gave up six hits, two earned runs, one walk, and four strikeouts. With Steven Matz going down again, the Cards shorten up their rotation up on the road. After the game, Michaelis talked about how the extra days off allowed him him to still get those rest days even with the shortened rotation. I mean, we got, you know, this road trip, you know, unfortunately Matt's, uh, you know, got hurt there, but we've had a lot of off days on this road trip, so you can kind of use that that off day to like throw an imaginary starter essentially and uh, you know, I'm real comfortable going on 5 days anytime, so you know, if I'm going to be going on, you know, 5 days and and whatnot going forward, it's good to be able to get through 7 on uh, low pitch count and get out of there. Team USA has added one of their best third basemen in Major League Baseball for next year's World Classic, World Baseball Classic. Nolan Arenado has agreed to once again play for the team. Arenado helped Team USA knock off Puerto Rico to win gold in the 2017 World Baseball Classic. The tournament is slated to begin in March of 2023. And the Cardinals and Nationals playing right now. And Melanie, as I mentioned, everybody is just waiting for any type of update on Juan Soto and whether or not he'll be traded. I think it's encouraging at this moment that he that the Cardinals are still considered a front runner for him but the Padres they love spending a lot of cash so we'll have to wait and see maybe the Cardinals will land him